only passed the second level. Each one is a billion steps. Oh, this so uh... Okay. Okay, let's go. Gotta get up, Arisa. Too bad I can't warn Rizella about this dang thing. Whew. There aren't any stairs, but it's been pitch black for so long. I have to put my hand against the wall just to figure out where I'm going. It's kind of chilly. Not seeing anything was really scary, but I, I calmed down a bit. Nothing was popping out like a horror screener, and it's been quiet for so long. I read once there was a place like this centuries ago called Kiyomizudera. I forgot what it meant, but you descend underground, and it's just as black as this. You can't see. You're on the edge the entire time. But when you get to the end, you find a statue and make a wish on its belly. You've traveled through the darkness, and you find peace at the end. It's hard to believe that this was just on the other side of the mountain. Maybe I'm weird for crying, but I've never been outside of District 4 to 10 before, let alone the entire city. <sighs> so, if we complete our assignment, we get to sign up for this trial. They call it a taste of being a real record keeper. A teacher escorts you to the entrance of the Ascent into Heaven. The Ascent itself? just a tunnel of stairs leading to this lookout. It's a huge secret though. No one is allowed to tell anyone what this test or this place is. And I guess I can see why. In the dark, I was thinking about how I was really close to giving up before. That I wasn't any good at this and I should just stop because I didn't have it in me. Honestly, I still think that. But I figured I should still try, right? Risella told me once she auditioned for choir three times before she was finally accepted. Her love for singing kept her going. And what'll keep me going is... I don't know yet, but I know something is out there. Something for me to discover, something for me to love. Whether it's finding the places my mom has been to or traveling as a keeper with my friends, I just want to get out of here and find it. I think that's the part I'm excited about most, to be honest. If my friends and I are accepted, I'll travel the world with them, regardless of what people say. We kind of complete each other, you know? Leah helped me get out of the house. <laughs> Made me get some fresh air in my brain so I wasn't waiting in my own sadness. Plus, she can talk to anyone. The complete opposite of me. <laughs> and going through this assignment with Rusella has reminded me how grateful I am to have met her at all. Whenever I was doubting myself, she, like, psychically knew I needed a pick-me-up. If I was hitting a wall, she'd make me step back and see the path around it. They're the kind of people I need in my life. The kind of people I want in my journey. I want this. Hey, Tita. What's going on? Arisal, where are you? I'm, uh, doing my last assignment. Did you need something? Leah came by. She has to tell you something. She knows this last part is a secret. Did something happen? Oh, child. What's wrong? Urizela. Something happened to her. Please come home.
guys, thanks for watching this episode. If you like this stuff, you should check out I Have Notes, or go ahead and click on one of the videos on screen to keep watching more Rooster Teeth animated content. Or you can even go to roosterteeth.com and watch the show that we were talking about recorded by Arsal. Oh my god, you have so many choices. I'm really happy for you. Please go. <laughs> <laughs>